11. And Young, ground ball off the chest of Freeman. Hudson got to the bag, and a collision. Hudson might have been stepped on. Hudson might have been spiked by Eric Young on the way by, and Tim's down on his belly in foul ground. Oh boy. This is not good, folks. This is not good. He had his right foot on the bag, and then his heel came up, and you're going to need it. That's not good. And he went straight down, put no weight at all on that right ankle. Eric Young Jr. still out there fretting over this. It's like the trainer's going to call for a cart. Oh, man. And Tim's grabbing anything he can find to. Try to squeeze away the pain. And the paramedics are coming out of the right field bullpen area and making their way to foul territory to help attend to Tim Hudson. They may need one of those immobilizing inflatable devices. Eric knew it was bad too. He, he was. About the first guy back to Tim. He knew that he got him and he was quickly back to apologize, but I don't know that. Eric had any place to go. I don't it looked like Tim's foot was right up on top of the bag. Certainly an accident but I don't know that he had any place else to to land with Tim's foot right on the base and they are indeed Joe bringing the golf cart out to attend to Tim Hudson. Now this is a modern ballpark. They have great medical facilities here. The Braves also have. Their director of medical services emeritus Dr. Joe Chandler on the trip as well. And looking at the replay in our monitors upstairs Joe it looked. Like unfortunately for Tim he didn't step on top of the foot. It looked oh like no no he didn't he stepped on his his leg that caused his ankle to collapse but I, what I wanted to see in our monitor. And I don't know that you folks at home want to see that again but. Is that Tim's foot was. Well onto the base if not. Halfway well over halfway. Toward the. Right edge of the bag if you will if you're running down the line it was almost. There was just no place for young to go. So a horrible freak accident is going to take Tim Hudson out of his game and we will all. Anxiously await any news. On what. Head athletic trainer Jeff Porter and the medical staff here with the New York Mets will find upon examination of Tim Hudson. And that was Dr. Chandler there at the bottom of the steps. A 
There's Dr. Joe. A man who has put, put so many Braves back together and so respected around baseball. The ball bounced off Freddie's chest. So Tim is hustling over there to cover already. So once he gets to first, he had to turn back to look at Freddie towards second base. And that's why he couldn't really tell where he was putting his foot on the bag. So Tim Hudson is going to leave this game with nine strikeouts, seven and two thirds innings of work. And uh, good work by the paramedics here. Good work by the Mets head athletic trainer, and of course, our athletic trainer, Jeff Porter, and the 28,000 people in New York applaud the effort of Hudson and Eric Young as well with a handshake. That's that's a shame. I mean, he may be driven to tears there. He's so shaken up by it. That look from Tim when he was shaking hands with Brian was one of just when I got it working again, you know. So the medical cart will make its way all the way back around toward the gate and left center field. And hopefully we'll get news on Tim Hudson's ankle before we leave air for you tonight. Wow. Just uh, I mean it just knocks the wind out of you. So Hudson pitched a brilliant game tonight. He leaves because of injury and Luis Avilan will come on and have as much time as he needs to get ready to try to finish off the eighth inning against the New York Mets. Hopefully Tim is not in a lot of pain at the moment. So Avalon's ready to go. He was 